Hello everyone and welcome back to another Ark Survival Ascended video. Now, the last video for my starter house absolutely blew up, which I just wasn't expecting and I really appreciate the love that I got, so thank you so much. In today's video, we're going to be coming up with the smallest starter house I can possibly come up with. If you do enjoy today's content, don't forget to smash the like button and consider subscribing. It helps me out a ton and let me know in the comments below what you want me to build next. Let's go on with the video. We all know the scenario. You've just joined a server and the first base you build is a one by one thatch block. And although some might say it's claustrophobic, you're happy here until you look over at the starter base across the river from you and you get instant jealousy. Well, fear not, because here's how you can turn your little hut of a block into a masterpiece that all your neighbors will be jealous of. The first thing I'm gonna do is destroy the thatch hut. It needs to go. To get rid of the whole lot. Because we're not gonna be a square, my friends. Oh no. We're not square, but instead we are hexagonal. Or octagonal. I don't know how many it's gonna... Let's find out how many this is. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is a hexagon. Now we're going to add in the thatch walls. I'm using thatch because, of course, this is a starter base. We need to create something that's both tiny, compact. You can build straight off the get-go, and this is why we're using thatch walls. Putting in some windows. I think I've got three here and a doorway there. Perfect. Now, for the roof, we are going to be using the triangle roofs so we can get that perfect little point on the top <laughs> i'm a bit worried this is gonna turn out looking like hagrid's hut but uh you know we can cross that hurdle when we come to it right so we're gonna add some bit of detail with these pillars uh don't look fantastic just going straight down on their own so i'll probably add in some going sideways as well across the lining of the roof looking pretty snazzy already if i don't say so myself <laughs> I was not going to stay there. I just put that there to see what it would look like. That looks ridiculous. Don't worry, we'll take that down. So I'm going to put down the sideways uh, pillars here. And that looks so much better just with that added extra there. Go around the bottom as well. Why not? Add in frame all around it. What is a hut without a decking? I am going to add in a nice little decking here so that we have area to work on. Obviously you're not going to be able to fit everything inside the hut. So let's give ourselves some outside space here. Now this is something obviously if you're just starting out you've built your hut first. Now you can start to expand. So now we're just going to add in these triangle foundations uh, to create the outside decking. Um, because we've used a hexagon base, it's a lot easier to use the triangle foundations as they're going to fit in a lot easier. As you can see, they all fit in very snug here. Right, we need a way to get up, so let's get some stairs going in. And you craft stairs by roof tiles now. <laughs> so a lot easier to find them. So just find roof in the ingrams and cross it. So there you go, there's the stairs. Let's get three in. My absolute favourite feature of the new arc is the railings. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that, but that is my favourite feature. Let's get some railings all the way around. I might extend the flooring at the back here. Yeah, definitely will do. So we've got more working space all the way around the back. I won't lie to you guys. I literally do not plan these builds. <laughs> I am making this up as I'm going along and hoping that it looks somewhat aesthetically pleasing uh, I have no idea what this is going to look like I mean I have a vague idea now that I've started how it's going to look but I, you know I'm, I'm kind of happy with how it's looking so far I'm just going to add in this back section perfect and then continue the railing all the way around I love it look at that <laughs> it is Hagrid's hut but it's a really nice hut at that so you know I'm very pleased with how this is turning out one of the most important parts of any base is the furnishings. So make sure you furnish this base up how you please. Got a little fireplace in here so far. Maybe put a bed in here. 
Yeah, let's get that in this side here. Looking fab. Literally just getting everything that you would need in a survival base in here. If you've noticed a slight weird dropping quality of the graphics, it's because I've had to turn it down. I keep on crashing and it's driving me nuts. So I'm just turning down to make my computer work a bit better. Get a little window in on this side. We'll do wooden windows. You're not going to have any glass at this stage of your game through <laughs> gameplay. Oh my god, these parasols are so loud. I'm, I'm murdering it. That's it. Dead. This bird? Dead. Dead. Oh god, the babies are still alive. Well, they're not going to survive out here. I bet as well end their misery. <laughs> okay. Um, right, back to building. <laughs> Don't forget, guys, to use the railings as extra details across your roof, roofing. Uh, I mentioned this in the last video. Honestly, it makes such a difference. I mean, you can do so many, like, special magical things with these railings. Let's get rid of this one. Something I haven't tried out yet is the little tiny walls, these quarter walls. I wonder if I put these in around here. Maybe I'll put some railings on top to give this section sort of more so people aren't looking in while you're doing your crafting here. Have a little bit more privacy. Let's see if we can get these on top. You can. Look at that. Beautiful. Now I wonder if I can get this to go diagonal here so it meets up to the top. Yes, I can. Just find that. Yeah. Lovely. And the same on this side. Oh yeah, I love this feature so much. Look how nice that is, that's so cool, I love that. Just gonna do the same by the crock pots here. I think it could do with a bit of extra privacy. Um, I just wanna use the railings more, I'll be honest. So let's put these in. Oh, you can overlap them as well, that's very useful. And we need to get this going up sideways again, if possible. Now it is a little bit finicky, but you can make it work. I will get rid of that little corner piece that I just left back there. And then on this side as well. Already I think our neighbours will be looking down at us thinking, that's a cute little hut. Well, while they're looking down at us with their, in their big sized house, we've got something they haven't got. They've got size, but we've got style. So we're going to paint the house. <laughs> Now listen, you don't have to paint the house. I know it's very hard to get painting right in art to make it look actually nice. But I think, you know what? Make a statement. Who cares? Make a statement. Go out there. Make it wacky. Make it fun. Why not? So I'm going to paint a red roof here. And we're going to do that all the way around. Just with that, we've added so much more interest. People are going to stop and look at this if they're walking by. They are definitely going to stop and have a look. So you've already made a statement, but I feel like painting more. What if I paint the doorways like a more thatch yellow? Now, it's very important to not get carried away because it's very easy to get carried away when painting. I've done it so many times in the past, so just try and restrain yourself if you can. Guys, <laughs> guys, I, uh, I might have got a bit carried away with the paint. Um, <laughs> you know, it's very easy to get carried away with paint. And I probably have, but you know what? As I said before, we're making a statement. We're trying to look out there. People are going to stop and look at this, I'm telling you. Maybe for the wrong reasons, but let's not think about that. All we really need now is a cute little sign out the front to mark it as our house. Lant note. Subscribe. Subscribe! Perfect. <laughs>
isn't she a beauty? Now let me show you around all the different features we've got. So over here on the left, we've got our little campfire where you can sit down and enjoy the beautiful views of the water. Uh, look over to your neighbours who are now jealous of you, of course they are, why wouldn't they be? you got your lovely little crock pot here. Now, amazing thing about these crock pots, if I can get out, is they're automatically irrigated if the water intake pipe is in range. So something I was told in the last video with the water is if you are in range with your water tank uh, of the water intake pipe, then you're able to extend it. So if I go all the way over here, as long as I see this blue arrow on top of the water tank, it means that we're connected to the water intake, which means we're successfully extending the signal. It's such a good feature. It just means that there'll be no more pipes clogging up your servers and your worlds. Over here on the right, we've got our lovely cooking pot with our little seating area while you're cooking, looking fab you lust. Got our refrigerators here that are coloured a horrible colour. <laughs> I did definitely go overboard with the colour, but that's fine. Uh, we got our storage boxes that you can stack up, so do stack them because it looks really cool when you stack them up like this. Our training dummies here so we can uh, train with our weapons. Refining forges, of course, and our mortar and pestles here. I've basically tried to include everything you're going to need in your starting base, which I think I've done successfully. Another amazing feature is the canvases. Now, I've worked something amazing out. You can place the canvas on the floor. Yeah, I am not kidding you. You can place it on the floor. Now, I thought the best way to utilize this is maybe use it as like a welcome mat. You can put it on the floor by your door and you can put paint welcome on it. It's such a cool feature. I don't know if there was a mod before that allowed you to do this, but it, I love it. Coming into the hut, we've got our lovely fireplace with a chimney that goes all the way up through the roof to give us that lovely smoke coming outside. We've got a wooden window here, not glass, because glass is a bit expensive for a starter house, so just wood. Um, over here, we've got... Ah, this is awkward. Um, I don't take a dummy to bed with me. What? I just had her here because I'm not alone. <laughs> don't judge me. Over here on the floor, I've used canvas again to make it look like there's stone bricks on the floor, which I think is a really cool idea as well to give it that extra touch. You can probably cover the whole floor with canvas and make it look like, I don't know, kitchen tiles or something. There's definitely stuff that could be done with it, and I definitely need to test that. We've got our bed and our canvases like I used on the last build, the starter house build. I've put them on the wall again like that. I think that's a really cool touch to the house. Obviously, I do think this is definitely achievable on day one. Uh, you could easily put this up. You just need a bit of thatch, a bit of wood, and you can put at least the hut up on day one. Day two, you could do the decking, but I still think that's achievable on day one. And the best thing is, the neighbours may have size, but we've got something better. We've got style, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do smash that subscribe button. It will help me out an absolute ton. Give the video a like and a comment below what you want me to build next. Love you all to death. I'll see you in the next video.